Welcome to another Blueprint IoT video and today we're going to talk about Manage Palette. In case you press here, you get the options to install additional nodes. Here we have the nodes that are already installed. So you see the basic node, red nodes, 49 in this case. And there are some more I installed on my own, so I customized it. And you can also unfold this and disable certain nodes you just don't need. For example, in case I don't want to use the CSV node, I can just disable it and it will disappear here on the menu on the left hand side in the navigation. And it's just not crowding up my node area with nodes I'm not going to use anyway or not in this project I'm working on, but maybe I want to use it later on again so I can enable it again. Again, you can filter here or search, but most important is the install tab. So that's basically your door into the App Store. So let's call this just the App Store of Node-RED. So you see 4,220 nodes are available. So that's all customized libraries. In this case, we call it nodes. You could also download this on different platforms like GitHub or any other platform you prefer. But from here, you can directly access these modules. So for example, you want to use something to read sensor data on a Raspberry Pi. You just type in the sensor name, in this case BME280, and then you see all the options. This is a sensor from Bosch, a temperature and humidity and air pressure sensor. It's all combined in one. And there you get different options and you can just install it right away. In case you want to get some more detailed information about what this node is actually doing and if it's a good one, you can use this little link out and you will be forwarded to the node red website where you get all the information very detailed. So most important here is of course you get a picture of how it will look like later in your navigation so it's easy to spot it again. You get all this documentation from the creator of this node and for you most important you get the downloads. So in this case 51 in the last week. So I always just try the first good options. This one was 26 in the last week so I would go for the one with more downloads in the last week. That's just an indicator of how well this node is working. In case it's working very well, a lot of people will use it. You also get a rating here of the developer and also the last update, in this case three years ago, the last update will be also displayed here. Those are all pretty old. So probably there was just no innovation happening on the hardware side. But if it's a pure software node, for example, Telegram, let's give it a try. You can see there are much more recent updates like one week ago, two weeks ago, or even this one two years ago almost. So I would look into it like, okay, check it out. This one almost two years ago last updated and 43 last week. Also here under development, do not use. So that's already a bit sketchy. The second one I have actually installed. So let's check this one. All right, 7,293 downloads last week. So this one is really used fr very frequently. There is 4.8 rating and it was updated one week and three days ago. So that's obviously a pretty good choice. Also the version 15.0.1. So there have been many versions before. So it seems like this is very well maintained. So that's all about this, how to install nodes in detail and how to set it up and everything. We will take a look in another video. So that's all for today. So make sure to be subscribed for all the upcoming videos about the whole functionality of Node-RED, how to operate it and what's actually possible using Node-RED. So thanks for watching today and see you next time.